Hey guys, welcome to My Little One's Name. Today, I've got 11 names that are inspired by colors. The statistics are from data collected by Social Security in the United States. So when I'm referring to how unique or popular a name is, I am making reference to the statistics from 2020. I'm going to go through these color-inspired names from most popular to unique. I based popularity on the combined number of times the name was given to both girls and boys. Some of these you have probably already heard before, but you might be surprised to find how popular or unique they are. Okay, let's dive right in. First, we've got Scarlet. The traditionally female name means scarlet or red and is of English origin. 6,455 girls and five boys were given the name Scarlet in the United States during 2020, placing the name in the top 25 for girls. So very popular. The spelling variation of S-C-A-R-L-E-T-T-E -E was significantly less popular and was given to 324 girls placing that spelling variation of Scarlet in the top 1,000 at place 838. Okay, next we've got Hazel. Hazel is of English origin and relates to the hazel tree and also to the brown-green eye color. The traditionally female name was given to 5,000 457 girls and 19 boys, placing Hazel in the top 50 at place 31. The spelling variation of H-A-Z-E-L-L-E -L -L -E was given to 19 girls and an alternative variation H-A-Z-E-L-L -L, was given to 9 girls. Moving along to Violet. Violet means purple and also relates to the flower. Of Latin origin, Violet was given to 5,075 girls, placing the name in the top 50 at place 37. The spelling variation, V-I-O-L-E-T-T-E, -T -T -E, was given to 258 girls, placing that spelling of Violet within the top 1,000 names at 982. So way at the bottom there. Okay, next up we've got Melanie. Melanie is of Greek origin and means dark or black. The traditionally female name was given to a little over 2,500 girls, placing Melanie slightly outside of the top 100 at place 105 in 2020. Moving along to Ivory, a gender-neutral name of English origin, Ivory means pale or white. Ivory was given to 481 girls and to 35 boys in the United States during 2020, placing the name in the top 600 for females at place 599. Next, we have Gray. Gray is a gender-neutral name and is the first color-related name we have looked at today that was given to more boys than girls. Of English origin, gray means gray-haired and was given to 69 girls and a little over 300 boys, placing gray in the top 1,000 names for boys at place 775. When spelled, G-R-A-Y, the name was less popular and was given to 37 girls and a little over 150 boys. Alba, of Latin origin, is a gender-neutral name that means white. Alba was given to 184 girls and zero boys in 2020, placing Alba outside of the top 1,000 names in the United States during 2020. Up next, we've got Lavender. Lavender is of English origin and means light purple. Lavender also relates to the flower. 
The traditionally female name was given to 152 girls, placing Lavender outside of the top 1,000 names. Moving along to Auburn. The name Auburn sounds so beautiful. Auburn is a gender neutral name of English origin and means deep reddish brown. Auburn was given to a little more than 40 girls and to zero boys, making this a great name choice if you want a name inspired by a color that is unique. Auburn almost has an autumn feel, which for the sake of comparison is a lot more popular. Autumn was given to more than 3,000 girls, placing that name in the top 100. Next, we've got ebony. Ebony means dark black wood and is of English origin. Ebony is a traditionally female name and was given to less than 30 girls, placing the name outside of the top 1,000. Already, lastly for the week, we've got Redding. I think Redding sounds sophisticated. Redding is a male name that means son of the red hair and is of English origin. Redding was given to 25 boys, making this a unique option that is easy to pronounce, with red as a potential nickname option. So there we have it. 11 names that are inspired by colors. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you would like more baby names in your near future, don't forget to subscribe. See you guys next week.